Behind the Law. Greeting, spectators of myth. Did you know that Sherlock Holmes was the dark knight of his day? Indeed, Holmes, like Batman, was said to be the world's greatest detective. And like other heroes, Holmes too wore a cape, as well as a huntsman's hat. But these icons of the character were not in the creator's original vision. No, like Robin for Batman, they came later. But how did that come to pass? Well, the tale behind that, spectators of myth, is elementary. Sherlock's hat and cape. The timeless Sherlock Holmes. Created by author Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock first appeared in 1887. Yet, like many other iconic heroes, the symbols that people associate with him, the hat and the cape, are said to have come later. Doyle never wrote of the Inverness cape and deerstalker hat. No, they were added by Strand magazine artist Sidney Paget. He depicted Sherlock wearing them on a Strand cover illustration for the London-based short story publication in 1891. And that was entirely by accident. Paget himself got the job after the magazine commissioned him in a case of mistaken identity. You see, his brothers Walter and Henry were both illustrators. The Strand wanted Walter, but this commission was mistakenly delivered to Sydney. And that, as they say, was that. Sherlock's hat and cape happened purely by chance. And from there, the image of the deerstalker hat and Inverness cape would become emblematic of the character himself, as well as his detective work worldwide. <laughs>